30th of April 2024, the clash between two European giants delivered everything we expected it to and more. A clash that historically has been the definition of being evenly matched. But Real Madrid have moved on to the next round in each of their last three European encounters. Bayern set out to change that though, starting really well and coming close in less than a minute with a chance that Leroy Sané really should have put away but was saved by an outstretched leg from Looney. The Bavarians absolutely dominated Real Madrid in the opening stages and should probably have gone ahead but Sané's chains weren't passing the diamond test just yet. Your shit fake, nigga! You don't got it! Getting into arguments with his coach over his wayward finishing. You don't have future here. You don't have future. You can never make. You can never make it. I do have to say though, even though Bayern kept dominating possession, it never felt to me like Real Madrid were in danger of conceding, and it felt like a matter of time before Los Blancos would get that clear-cut chance to put them ahead against the run of play. We've seen it before. We we'll see it again, and we did see it here. In the 24th minute, just when Bayern players were getting into their grooves, the ghost of Tony Cruz came back to haunt his former club with an absolute gem of a pass that made the Vinicius Junior go something of a foregone conclusion. This guy is 34 years old <laughs> and is having arguably the best season of his career, being ever present in a Real Madrid squad that is notorious for moving on from age vets as soon as possible. Oh. But Cruz has made himself indispensable so far and he looks like a man that has a few more years left at the highest level. He put up a wonderful performance and he came close to making the next bulge and putting Real Madrid two goals ahead in the 50th minute but was thwarted by the hands of a goalkeeper he knew too well. You betrayed me. Did you tell the folks that? A goal did come but it was on the other end of the pitch. Asani got the better of Madrid left back Felon Mendy and rifled a shot into the bottom corner. An unstoppable shot that can only be interpreted as a response to his coach and he did give him a piece of his mind as he ran off to celebrate his goal. Bayern's game plan when on the attack was to go at Madrid's full backs as much as possible and Lucas Vasquez was born to one too many times on this occasion as he brought down Jama Musiala in the box with what was a very very poor tackle and honestly, what are you doing there man? The goal was virtually confirmed before the ball was kicked because it's Harry Kane. He scores high pressure penalties every other day, unless it's for England of course. Ancelotti turned to his bench looking for solutions, subbing off the junior version of Jude Bellingham that showed up on the day. The guy has been getting blasted online for his performance but give the guy a break. It's just one game and he was out with a virus in the lead up to this game. Bayern had a few more chances before the end of the game though and should have put one away. Maybe Eric Dia could have done better with his header to shut the door on Madrid and even then you can't put a comeback past Madrid in the Champions League but they left the door open a smidge and we all know what happens when you do that against the Spanish Giants. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Rodrigo won a penalty in the 82nd minute that enabled Vinicius to pull Real Madrid level with his 5th Champions League goal of the season and his 21st of all competitions. The Brazilian star is having another signature season, proving his big game credentials once more and deservedly won the Champions League Man of the Match award. Yet, it feels like he's not been at his best in a season that has been marred by a few injuries. It just goes to show how far he's come from being accused of playing against his own team. Overall, this match was fantastic for the neutral, but both teams can't help but feel like they left something on the table in this match. A place in the final at Wembley is still up for grabs and judging by what we've seen so far, both teams will be deserving finalists. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Who do you think would make it to Wembley? Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. I've got kids to feed.